Yeah, I'd say this is a shocker. Uh, stunning death of iconic actor, comedian, TV dad, uh, Bob Saget. Orange County deputies in Orlando there say the former Full House and America's Funniest Home Video star was found dead at the Ritz Carlton in Orlando. This was on Sunday afternoon, so just yesterday afternoon. And Saget had just kicked off his I Don't Do Negative stand up comedy tour this weekend right here in Florida. His final show taking place in Ponte Vedra. In fact, this is where uh, that picture was taken and uh, posted it to social media talking about well, how wonderful of a, a show it was. And that's where we find Renata De Roy. She's live there at the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall uh, with information about his last post. Um, things just seem to be going well for Bob. Yeah, Lou, and he seemed to have really enjoyed his last show that was here at the Ponte Vedra Concert Hall. He online called the audience fun and appreciative and said that he was addicted to comedy, addicted to doing this. Now, in June through June is how long he had shows planned, but the one here in Ponte Vedra would be his last. The Orange County Sheriff's Office confirming on Twitter that Saget was found unresponsive in a hotel room at the Ritz-Carlton or Orlando earlier in the day on Sunday day where he was pronounced dead. They say there were no signs of foul play nor drug use. He had just kicked off his I don't do negative tour, which he was in Ponte Vedra for, and he was working on recording a special. When Saget started hosting America's Funniest Home Videos, YouTube was still 15 years out from being created. Gives you a little bit of a time gauge right there. He's best known for being one of America's favorite TV dads on Full House and then Netflix's Fuller House. Our Mike Prangley talked to him in December on First Coast Living before he came here to Ponte Vedra. And that's where Saget talked about starting stand up when he was 16 years old. I always do what I found funny, and I, I'm just wanting to make people feel good. And no matter where they come from, what they believe, I'm not, I can't deal with it. I'm tired of the yelling. I just want to make people laugh. And I'm on tour to getting ready to do a new special, so it's even going to be newer material than when I was there last time. His cause of death will be determined by the Orange County Medical Examiner's Office. Live in Ponte Vedra, Renata Di Gregorio, First Coast News, on your side. All right, Renata, thank you. And what folks have been saying online about the tragic loss, his co-star, of course, John Stamos, played Uncle Jesse alongside Sagan and Full House, tweeted, quote, I am broken, I am gutted, I am in complete and utter shock. I will never have another friend like him. I love you so much, Bobby. Uh, Candace Cameron Bureau, who played DJ, posted this picture of the two hugging right there um, on Instagram, just off set, saying, I love you so much, I don't want to say goodbye. It's heartbreaking. Heartbreaking stuff. Uh